Bryson City, North Carolina at Deep Creek. That's where we're starting today. We're going to a few spots, so I figured I would take you along with me, even though this isn't technically exploring chat. I mean, you can come here for the day and get back in the day, and I, that's what I'm doing today. It's a long day, but it's a long drive. It's about a three-hour drive, so... But it is the most scenic drive. I mean, you saw glimpses of it. Like, that was just a snippet of what the drive, you know, entails. So, I highly recommend this. Like, just for the scenic drive, even. And Bryson City, there's a lot to do here. I wish I had time to, like, really kind of explore it. But, we'll have to come back another time. As you saw on the way in, this is a popular tubing spot. Deep Creek is. And I wanted to bring my tubes and do that, but my friend that I'm meeting, uh, we decided against it. We'll do it another time. So we're here. We're just kind of doing a little bit of hiking, a little bit of, you know, photo shoot stuff. And welcome to North Carolina. We're going to do the loop. And then there's three waterfalls back here. Nice. So that's the goal is to hit up all three waterfalls. And it should be two miles, maybe. Yeah, Not too bad. Now we turn around about just kidding. <laughs> Time to go home, let's be fun. So we should go this way. Oh, that step's washed out. Oh no, a creek crossing. <laughs> huh. <laughs> so I guess we're not going that way. Um, look at this little thing. <laughs> That's so funny. I've never seen anything like that. Hello from Editing Amanda. <laughs> I've been doing such a good job on these videos, but I kind of dropped the ball on this day. I think because I just had a lot going on. So I had a lot on my mind. We were doing like a photo shoot. I was being my friend there. I had never been to Bryson City before. There were a lot of things that like I hadn't planned out where we were going to go. But I hadn't like fully done the research on it, so it has shown. <laughs> so to clarify, what I didn't show you is, while we were at Junie Wake Falls, the other side, like there's a bridge that goes in front of the waterfall and the trail continues on, but that part of the trail was closed because they were building the steps for it. Now what I didn't understand was, I thought the loop, I thought that was part of the loop, but no, it's not. We continued on, which is what you're about to see, we continued on and that is actually still the loop. So we could have continued the loop, but I thought we were on Deep Creek Horse Trail, which we kind of were, but it's it's a little bit different. And Deep Creek Horse Trail does kind of follow Deep Creek just like over a little bit. So like the creek's here, the trail, Deep Creek Trail's here, and then the horse trail's up here. So they're parallel, and there is another connector further down Deep Creek Horse Trail that will connect you to Deep Creek, but it's like a ways down. And I didn't, I didn't look at the map like I should have before all this. <laughs> so I didn't really fully understand what was, what I was looking at. I had a rough idea, but not enough as is demonstrated by these videos of me trying to figure out where we actually are and where we need to be going. <laughs> we didn't get lost or anything, but it's very clear that I was not researched enough to be sharing this. So that's what I want to go ahead and clarify. We could have completed the loop and the loop will take you to Deep Creek Trail. However, we ended up turning around going back because we thought we couldn't do the loop. Went back to the trailhead, which takes you back to the parking lot where there is a second trailhead and that is for Deep Creek Trail. That is the trail that we ended up taking from the trailhead, which takes you to the same place as if we had continued the loop we just would have cut out like a little portion of that, the beginning of that trail. So you can start at Junior Wang Falls, do the loop, it takes you to Deep Creek, and then continue on. Or you can do what we did, which is like go up to Junior Wang Falls, come back to the parking lot, go over to that trailhead, and then go that way. So those are the options. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to clarify because I didn't fully grasp what these trails look like, what directions they go, and all that stuff. It's 
not that complicated, but it was complicated to me at the time. So no judgment if it's complicated to you because when a place has like multiple trailheads and multiple trails, it does get complicated. I totally understand. And that is what I'm here for. I'm here to help clarify and give direction on those things. So I'm also kind of kicking myself over here for not being prepared to do so day of. So that is where Editing Amanda comes in to clarify things. So we shall continue. So see, I wanted to do the loop trail. That's what it was, but we ended up just going straight to the waterfall, which I don't know that we could have done the loop since it was closed yeah, anyways. So. so now we're gonna go Tom Branch Falls and Indian Creek Falls. That's the plan. This is nice. We're not going that way. We're gonna continue on. What is, oh, that's Deep Creek Trail. Oh, we could have circled around on the horse trail, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little lost back here, but we're gonna, because we're trying to go to Indian Falls. So it says it's 200 feet. Back in the car, wow, it got really busy really quick and I knew that when I got here, I got here at like 9.15 and the parking lot was already filling up so I knew it was going to be bad. <laughs> but it is like packed now so people are waiting for parking spots, like I'm going to get out of here, don't know where my friend went, she was supposed to like follow me or whatever, now I'm following her, <laughs> there she is. That place was really neat. Definitely want to come back and try tubing, but like I said, not today. Yeah, it's it gets pretty busy pretty quick, so if you do come here, come here early. Wow, those people have a lot of tubes. <laughs> come here really early because, yeah, it gets packed quick. There's like no parking left, but uh, there's like overflow parking and stuff like it is packed. And it's a Thursday. Mind you, it is a weekday. It's summer, but it's a weekday. So people vacation here. I would vacation here. It's actually a nice place. Bryson City is pretty cool, but it's kind of crowded. It's kind of small for the amount of people that end up coming here. Highly suggest checking out that place. Hiking in the waterfalls was super easy, super short hikes. Um, hiking up to the Juni Wank Falls was actually kind of difficult. It was a bit steep, but the other the other falls were a lot more like casual incline they're a lot easier i'm following my friend now because i forgot we're going somewhere new <laughs> that i hadn't looked up where to go i don't know what we're doing hold that thought okay we were gonna go to this overlook um because i thought it was like you could drive there to it but no it's a hiking trail a three and a half mile hiking trail at that because it looks like it's at the top of the mountain like a mountain overlook and we're at the bottom of the mountain and <laughs> we're like yeah we're not doing that today we're uh hot and sweaty as it is like it is so hot and humid out we're not doing that today we are off to destination number two which is the fontana lake overlook which i've been to fontana lake before i think this is the same fontana lake but i haven't been to this side of it like i think it's the other side um or actually i think it's further upstream i think fontana lake is actually pretty long it's more of a long than it is like lake it's still called a lake because the dam is huge and holds back a lot of water it is, if I remember correctly, it's the tallest dam in TVA system. Just a fun fact for you, unless I said that wrong. 
Adam will hate me, so I have to correct myself. But anyways, uh, yeah, the, the lake behind it's huge because, and it's really long. So we are gonna go up the mountain now and check that out. It should be a really pretty overlook. stop which is the road to nowhere it's an old tunnel that's three miles up the street from the overlook and it doesn't go anywhere so it's the road to nowhere and there's a couple hiking trails up this way too so we're gonna check these these spots out but I'm really excited to see this tunnel because it's like really long really creepy looking and a lot of graffiti on it and stuff so it's definitely something to see oh this view though scary I was not expecting those potholes so if you do come up here which I encourage you to I think <laughs> I haven't seen the tunnel yet how creepy it is but there's a hiking trail here so this parking lot is kind of small because it's a trailhead and for the tunnel which is also like a popular spot to check out so that's why it's packed it's also almost one o'clock so it's kind of late but again it's Thursday imagine what this place looks like on a weekend so the road up here after the overlook, like before the overlook, the road's perfectly fine. But once you hit that overlook, there's just random, really deep, really bad potholes. There'll be just like a little five foot patch of them. And you have to go really slow to like, be careful. And I was going too fast because I didn't expect it. And I was going like normal road speed, but you cannot be going normal asphalt road speed. They're there because it's, it's bad. So um, yeah, be aware of that. There's quite a few of them just randomly. But other than that, everything's good. This thing is so dark and pretty long too. I'll have to put how long it is when I figure that out because I don't know. <laughs> but this is insane. So those people have flashlights. It must get really dark in the middle. And there's horses coming. It is so dark here. We're almost in the center, I think. Now I see why people have their flashlights on. It's crazy how dark it is in here. I officially walked through the entire tunnel. Now I have to go back. <laughs> okay, made it back out the other side. Very interesting. Highly recommend visiting. 
it's really not creepy. Um, I didn't look too closely at a lot of the graffiti. There's obviously inappropriate stuff and stuff like that, but there, most of it was like people's names and stuff like that. Your typical stuff. So I loved, not that I condone graffiti, but I loved how all the graffiti lines the entire thing, but it only goes up like six feet and it kind of stops. So I thought that was pretty cool. Like even within the vandalism, there's like order to it. So that was interesting. But we got some cool photos, and I walked the entire distance. I tried to measure to see how long it was. My watch wouldn't track it because it couldn't get a GPS signal in there. <laughs> so I don't know how long it is. I heard someone saying that it's a quarter mile. I also want to look up the history and more information. As you saw, there's like another road on the other side. Like, it continues on. But it's closed off. Like, you can't drive through there. There's pylons here to keep you from going. I definitely recommend coming by here, stopping here. Definitely worth it. And... It gets kind of busy, but it's a little more off the beaten path than where we were earlier at Deep Creek. All the information for all this and the details and stuff like that will be in the blog post, which will be linked below. And we'll continue on. to Fontana Lake. It's only a mile. We probably won't go all the way to the lake, but but we'll just walk that direction. I wish there was like creek access. The creek's right there. We'll see if there's creek access further up. I don't know how you get a motor vehicle down here. Unless there's a roadway up there. I don't know. That water's rushing though. So confused. This is the fourth creek crossing on a bridge that looks like this. It's a different bridge, but it feels like how so. many creeks are there that look like this? Like we haven't even been hiking that long. We've only gone half a mile and we've already crossed four. <laughs> what is this place? So, we've made it to Fontana Lake. We've seen some fish, as I showed you. Also saw a snake swimming. Did not catch that on camera. However, I do see a dead snake in the bottom of the water. Or just the snake skin. I think the snake skin would float. I think that's a dead snake. Let me see that. that is crazy. Mm. So this is Fontana Lake, the far end of it, like the very opposite end. Like this is where one of the little jut offs where it can start. So like this creek turns into Fontana Lake, and which is part of the bigger river-like lake. And we're on like the far end, the opposite end of the dam. So like the dam's way further away from here. But I don't know why this is collecting like this. Like all these fallen trees and debris and stuff, like it's not flowing into the lake. Unless they're like holding back water maybe, I don't know. It's weird because it's like this water's really flowing. I don't know why this is like just stopped here stagnant. Not really sure how that works. But we are not getting in this water because too many snakes and it doesn't even really look pleasant. So we will be heading back now. It's also very overgrown back here. Not very heavily traveled, I'd say. A little more off the beaten path. Hello from Editing Amanda once again. <laughs> I am here to close out this video because things got a little bit confusing at the end of the day and I did a terrible job closing it out. So we're just going to start this over. Basically, that was the end of the day. Uh, my friend and I were supposed to eat dinner downtown in Bryson City. But she ended up not feeling well, so she just went ahead and headed home. So I went to eat dinner by myself, and then I was going to share it with you guys. But I didn't feel like sitting at the restaurant eating because I wanted to get home too. I was tired. It was a long day. 
So I was like, well, I'll get it to go, but I'm kind of an idiot. <laughs> and I ordered, <laughs> ordered something to go that's not, it is not something you can eat on the road. So I ended up like pulling over in Murphy, North Carolina and eating in like a parking lot. I ate like half of it and then I drove the rest of the way home and ate the rest of it. It was really good though. Highly recommend if you're going to Bryson City and you want it dinner or lunch even. I think they're open for lunch. Iron Walk. Really good. Highly recommend. Yeah, lunch is available until 3 and then from 4 on they have dinner. They've got uh, all sorts of Asian cuisine made to order. That's all I have to share about that because I can't show you photos or video of the food because I didn't take any because it wasn't really presentable. Because if you order it to go, they give you like a cup of like the liquid, the stuff that's in the liquid, which is like the meat that you chose and like a, some onions and stuff. And then, because I got pho, I forgot to say that, I got pho. And then in a styrofoam to go container is the noodles and like the bean sprouts and all the toppings and stuff like that. So, couldn't really take a photo of it or videos, but that... That's where, where I went for dinner there, local, local place that I went to dinner. I highly recommend. That is it. All this information and stuff will be in the blog post link below, which I did say earlier, but just a reminder. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below if you have been to Bryson City before or anywhere in the area. There's a lot of little towns there in North Carolina. And if you enjoy this and want me to explore more little towns in North Carolina, let me know and I will. Just let me know in the comments. <laughs> that is all, and I'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.